Vakohalayam, Yahawa, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Vakakwadash. Kao means all. Halayam praises Yahweh being the Most High, Bahashem in the name Yahweh Shah, the Messiah, the Son of, of, of Yahweh. So now this video is intended for anyone that might be feeling drained or, or overwhelmed. So I thought I should make this quick video. This video this video won't be long. Right now I'm at the you know plantation so to speak. So I just wanted to uh, make this short video. So uh, as I stated, this video is for you know anyone that didn't feel in dream. Now the thing is we gotta keep in mind that we almost out of here and the prophecies are unfolding. And at the same time Satan Satan's coming harder to try to remove you from your post and from the stance you have in your Hashem Yahusha. So his goal is to get you disenchanted. But um no, no matter what occurs, we just have to keep in mind, you know, to pray unto the Lord and ask for more guidance and strength and spirituality as we, you know, go through these times. So what, what I want to do is start it off with the book of Hebrews chapter 10. Beginning at verse 35 And it says Cast not away therefore your confidence Which have great recompense of reward Now our confidence Is the faith we have in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah And what the scriptures Or the events of the scriptures That's supposed to take place Like the MOTB And uh, the digital currency That's about the you know, swarm the whole world, but um, that CBDC is going to be within the the, the chip. But um, it says, "Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have a great re recompense of reward." Because when you when you endure until the end, the Lord is going to reward you. And the ones that's only the only ones that go indoor is the the, the most high e elect. So verse 36, for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the most high, ye might receive the promise. For for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the he that shall come is Yahweh Shah. Because when Yahweh Shah return, Yahweh Shah is coming to de destroy the current rulership and um, build up or take control of the planet Earth through his elect. And it says, um, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry, meaning it's not gonna it's not gonna take it, it's not gonna take a long time. And it says, um, verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith, but any man shall draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So the draw, the guys that draw back is the God that get disenchanted and get removed from their confidence or their faith. And um, those are the same men that's not gonna receive a righteous reward because all men gonna receive a reward, but Certain men rewards going to be blessings And other men rewards going to be destruction But we looking to receive the reward of um, a, a, a blessing from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah It's lucky I had to move Because you know 
saying saying decide to bring certain men towards my direction so anyway so what i want to go back to is he was 10 and 37 for yet a little while because it, it may it may right now it may feel like a long time but it's really a little while and we just have to fight a little longer and that says and he that shall come will come yahushua and will not tarry and we see the things the prophecies unfolded and um uh, speeding up so now um let's go to habakkuk two and one and i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what and what i should answer when i am reproved and the lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables now what are the visions the visions are references toward the, the um, events that's prophesied in the scriptures and um it says and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it now we making it plain by breaking it down to, to the uh the public the words of the most high and it says and the lord answered me and said it's like in verse three for the for the vision is yet from an appointed time but at the end it should speak so the vision on the prophecies and the prophecies we're looking for to take place is the MOTB and following after is the nuclear destruction because simultaneously during this nuclear um, holocaust that's about to take place that's when Yahweh Shah is gonna is gonna come and deliver his elect through the, through the, through the chariots so now for the vision is yet for an appointed time but the end it should speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. And that's that's why I want to get out of that. Tarrying. Because it, it may feel at the moment, you know, things are tarrying. And, you know, brothers or sisters may be going through it at the moment and taking losses. But these are the sacrifices you have to take to, to win the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And when you're going through it, it's, it sometimes appears as time is moving slow. But time is really moving faster. And one of the reasons why we're undergoing these circumstances is because the Lord wants us to hate this life. That's why it says what it's saying in the scriptures that he that loveth his life should lose it and he that hateth his life should gain it. Because the, the Lord doesn't want us to be involved with anything that's of this world. So that way we could depart from it. And uh and make and make assessments and look upon him for deliverance. But that can't happen until we be emotionally and spiritually attached from this place a detached like you to be emotionally detached from this this current world so that's my time you know and i have to go back to the plantation real soon so i want to say all praise and glory to you how by shim yahweh shah by shim and till next time shalom